This week we look at number five in our series on themes in the book of John. This is the testimony of the Samaritans. A great, <laughs> what could you say, example of how people who might have been prejudiced are completely turned around when they come face to face with Jesus and his message. You remember how this whole story began. Um, Jesus is traveling back. He's going through Samaria to go back to Galilee. Um, he's tired. He's been walking for quite a long time. He sits down next to to Jacob's well and a lady comes down to get water and what does he do does he say I'm Jesus I'm the one who can give you eternal life I am your savior no he simply says could you give me a drink well we don't have time to go through the whole story there's some quotes in the notes for this time that I'd like to point you to Terry Blackstock I like to think about the biblical story of the woman at the well and how out of order her life was. Jesus pointed out she'd had five husbands and was living with a sixth. But Jesus chose her to be the one who would take the good news of the Messiah's arrival to her village. He chose her to be the evangelist. And then there's a, a line from Johnny Powell speaking on behalf of the woman, saying, it wasn't the water he came for, it was for me. And I really do believe that, that Jesus was delighted to meet this woman and to break all those taboos. You remember, as soon as he says to her, could you give me a drink? She says, you're not supposed to ask me that. You're a Jew, I'm a Samaritan, plus I'm a woman. Plus, I'm here at a very odd time of day. That should give you a clue as to my relationship to the other folk in the village and so on. So there's so much there that should lead us to think, well, this is not the right kind of person to take the message. But when she goes back to the village, she goes in and starts shouting, come and meet somebody who told me, everything I ever did, which is a bit of hyperbole, of course. And then she says, could this be the Messiah? Here is a Samaritan woman having just met Jesus, wondering maybe this really is the Messiah, the one who was to come. Now, don't forget, the Samaritans only held to the first five books of what we call the Old Testament, the books of Moses. They didn't follow what the Jews did in the rest of the Old Testament scripture. So how did she know all about the Messiah? It's an interesting question, but she obviously had heard about the prediction of a Messiah to come and was wondering, is this the one? And she goes running back to the village to tell everybody. Uh, let's look at, uh, after all the conversation they'd had, we can't go into all of that. The people of the town go out to see him and Jesus says to his disciples when they start talking about food, <laughs> you should be looking for the real food. But again, we don't have time to go into that aspect. But verse 39, many Samaritans from that town trusted in him because of what the woman said. He told me everything I ever did. So when they came to see him, they pleaded with him to stay with them. That wasn't part of the original plan, was it? Jesus was going through, just passing by on his way back to Galilee. But he responds positively to their request. He stayed for two days, and because of what he told them, many more trusted in him. They said to the woman, now our trust in him isn't just because of what you told us, but because we have heard him for ourselves. We're convinced that he really is the saviour of the world. That's the testimony of the Samaritans that were pointed to in this particular study. What a wonderful comment. We 
believe. We are convinced he really is the saviour of the world. And that's never mentioned anywhere else in the New Testament. It's the Samaritans who give that declaration about Jesus. And there's a little postscript too. After the persecution in Jerusalem, when Philip goes to Samaria, he has great success. And I have to believe that's because they already knew something about this Jesus. And what Philip was telling them, or at least some of them, wasn't brand new. They were ready to accept Jesus as the saviour of the world. What a wonderful testimony from people you would not expect. Let's think about what that means.